On May 29, 2007, uh, my wife's and mine, 19-year-old son, was hit by a drunk driver. She ran away, and he was killed. Uh, we came to know Neil O'Donnell when ultimately uh, an individual by the name of John Corcoran, who's been a lifelong friend, but who took care of our son before we buried him. If I'm not mistaken, it might be eight years to the day that we're sitting here talking that we had the opportunity to uh, meet him under the most god-awful circumstances. Uh, although that scenario changed our life, meeting Attorney O'Donnell and everybody that's come and gone in, in, in the eight years that we're still here and still clients in different capacities. Uh, it's, it was a godsend meeting them. I wish it had been under non-horrific conditions, but it, it was what it was, and we, we, we still continue to, to be friends with them. And they, they, I won't say they, they made the process easier, but they were as comforting as, as you could imagine, and, and they made what were days where our hearts were ripped out each and every day, and as to today as I sit here, that uh, it, was, it, was, it was a godsend that uh, well, we got to know them, and, and, and we're fortunate enough, both on their side and ours, we, to this day, not only our clients, but we call each other friends. When we first met him, his personality, out of anything, shined through more than anything else that, you know, although he was somber because he, he knew of the scenario, he, uh, he, he has a demeanor about him, and, and, and I don't know if that, that blends into the, the personality or what, but everything he did was heartfelt, it was warm, it was consoling, it was compassionate. It, it was everything that, that my wife, Anne Marie, and myself needed. Th th there was no getting rid of our sorrow, but he made us feel as good as we possibly could under the circumstances. And, and in his personality shone through, we probably hit a home run by getting on board with him. We, we had seen some advertisements, but we, we, we paid no attention to that because we, it was never gonna be us. It was never gonna be the Venucci's that needed that. But his personality, to this day, carries it through because you saw our interaction when we first sat down. It's always with a friendly smile. I mean, and here he is, he's, he's got his Jewish doctorate and he stands up to say hello to me and extend his hand. So, so there's a lot of things I could say, but a lot of his personality, I don't think the true story can be told because it's in his mannerisms, the way he makes eye contact. His, his personality, in addition, to his capabilities as an attorney shines through, and I, I think maybe I've encompassed that, and I don't want to get too long-winded with it. If they gave Neil just five minutes of their time, that they would see that there was no need for intimidation, no need for anxiety, that he, he's gonna put them in a comfort zone, maybe like they've never been in their life. And, 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 and I understand that, that he, you are in a difficult position because you know you, you're never coming to be a defense attorney or a civil attorney. You, you're never coming under the best of circumstances. But I, I, I think if anybody out there would give him half a chance, and like I said, five minutes I think would be the barometer, which was all they would need because he, he's going to put them at ease if they gave Neil a chance to sit and to talk to him and, and to ask maybe one or two questions that they can convey their misgivings maybe of having to, to, to meet an attorney, and I think he would allay their fears one, two, three. I, I don't think anybody would walk away the first time. I, I think maybe if I can go back to what I had said, they would get in their car and they would feel the same way that Alan and Marie Venucci felt eight years ago, that you hit a home run with going with Neil O'Donnell.